All right, I am back. Cool. So, I just beat Jaws a few minutes ago. If you're just joining, my name is Donkey Sean Jr., and I am playing a whole bunch of games tonight for my classic gaming night. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to go, probably not super late, but whatever. This is more of a first run, get comfortable kind of deal. Um, if you see me looking around all paranoid, it's because there's a bug flying around here somewhere, and I'm going to freak the fuck out if it touches my neck or my arms or my legs. So, uh, that might be entertaining for people to watch. Um, if, uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing Top Gun is what the fuck I'm doing. So, continuing my journey through childhood, um, I'm going to give beating this ridiculous game a shot. I, am, I have low confidence that I'll be able to manage this, because this game is not only difficult but really annoying and kind of frustrating so I, I hope to get at least to like level two um, it's also notorious for the whole land the plane thing but I have done that at least once so hopefully I'll be able to do it live and not look like an asshole um, but who knows maybe I will and that'll be entertaining anyway uh, so yeah here we go this game is notorious for two things one being hard to land the plane and also because it's kind of a piece of crap um, this is not one of my favorite games to play, and it's definitely one of the weakest Konami games I've ever played. Uh, but it does hold a special place in my heart, because if you're a kid that grew up in, you know, the 80s or whatever, and didn't watch Top Gun, I don't know what the hell something wrong with you. So, um, here we go. This game is also probably the least exciting thing to watch, and I apologize for that, because, uh, it is, uh, there's no soundtrack. And it bothers me that when you, you'll see in a second, when I shoot my regular gun, it only comes from one side of the plane, which, you know, most people know that they're, you know, the gun has, comes from both sides. And you get missiles, which you can lock onto a target and then fire back. But the biggest problem with this game is that it tries to be too realistic, and it shouldn't be. And it's also, um, like just kind of, like, like, boring. Like, I don't know what the big... I don't know what the big hook in was other than the fact that it said Top Gun on the cover. And, you know, maybe that was the thing. That was like their marketing deal and whatever. But, I mean, basically you just kind of fly like this and... Look at me. I mean, like, the, the gun does the same amount of damage as a missile, so why do I have to use missiles? Um, you only get hit once and you die with a missile, and the missiles look like giant, like, blackheads with, like, crap shooting out of the sides, um, which I don't like. You do have a radar, which is kind of cool, because you can kind of trick the, uh, planes into flying towards you, sometimes. Um, yeah, it's, it's really about it. Like, it's really not that... Like, the other missions are a little bit more interesting, in that, um, you have to, like, fight a... One, you have to fight, like, a heli uh, an aircraft carrier, and, like... I think the last mission, or the next mission, you have to fight like a base, so you have to like blow up a whole building. Um, and then there's one where you gotta, uh, the last mission is you gotta blow up a space shuttle, which looks like a NASA shuttle, which is always kind of funny to me. Um, but that's really about it. Like, I think this game was really, it seems more like a tech demo than it was anything else, more than an actual game. And it, that's just really about it. Like, I don't know. There's not a whole lot you can do to talk about it. You can die at random at any point. Like, I don't know anyone that's really that, like, skilled at this game. Shit. <laughs> Goofing off. Um. And that's it. I know that you can cheat a little bit. Like, you can, in one of the missions, I'll probably do it just for fun, but you can just kind of fly straight up in the air the whole time. Like, just kind of keep up, like, sort of like this. And kind of just wiggle the, your altitude up and down like that. And you can basically avoid all the enemies, which is kind of fun. Um, if you just want to get to a boss. I played this game a lot as a kid, and it was one of those games where I kept expecting it to be awesome, and the more I played it, the more I hated it, and then I just kept trying to play it to be like, no, there has to be a reason why everyone raves about it, and it's not just because it's about a movie with Tom Cruise in it. But that was really it. I don't even know if Tom Cruise ever played this game. I doubt it, because he probably would be like, this sucks. Alright, so here's the landing thing. Now, the part that everyone gets screwed up is that there's a speed and an altitude, and you can control that with the B and A buttons, and that's what everyone messes up. So basically, you just kind of like, get to the target speed and the target altitude, you actually have to use the altimeter and the speedometer on the left side, and it'll tell you in the middle 
what you need to get to. So I'm holding B, and you notice my speed is going down. I can go faster if I, you know, aim my plane down. It makes it go faster, but my altitude starts to go down. So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get around 200 and around 288 speed. So you see, like, my altitude's going down a little bit faster because I'm, you know, descending, but I need to get my speed a little bit up now. And then it just shoots out, yells out directions for you. You don't have to actually, like, push it. Um, like, tap left twice. You just have to... I don't know if I'm going to do this. Uh, it's so tense. I think my altitude's a little too high. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm two for two tonight. I killed Jaws and I landed the plane, so... Pro Gaming USA. I heard that bug, sorry, it flew behind me. I'm gonna go fucking nuts if it lands on me. Like, at least I'll be famous for that. Now, I don't understand the missile thing. Like, you got 40 of these, 20 of those, and the 10 ones. Like, why would you want to take the 10? Like, I guess for the boss fight? Maybe I will do that. Maybe it makes the boss fight easier? Let's find out. I always just take the wolf, because I was always, or the crap ones, because I was like, well, whatever, I can shoot more. But at the same time, like, I can just shoot with my gun, so I don't know, maybe there's... I need to look up, you know, topgunstrats.net to, like, come up with some answers here. Maybe somebody can, like, you know, throw me a comment. See, I, I've been watching streamers, so I'm learning what to do. I have to beg people to do things to make it important. So I'm going to cheat a little bit here, because I don't feel like doing... fighting through all this. And basically just keep up off the ground. You don't have to worry about... On the on the water, there's all these, like, bros with, uh, that shoot missiles at you and stuff, and it's not worth it, so I just keep going up. This one's also annoying because you got to refuel halfway through. See, those are the things, and those things suck. Like, you, they don't have to be that close to get to rip you, so. So I'm just going to do this and just, like, you don't get extra lives, I don't think, so. Let's do this. And dodge. Ah. <laughs> I feel like the training mission in Mission 1 really does not adequately train you for uh, Mission 2. Because you're on water, you gotta deal with submarines and shit. Like, I don't know who designed their training regiment, but they did a really bad job, in my opinion. And yeah, you can just basically do this forever, as far as I know. I don't think you can actually, uh, stop climbing. Yeah, like, your altimeter stops, but you still go up. So, I've reached outer space, as far as I know. So, look at me. Top Gun 2, space time. 2018. Aren't they doing... I heard they were doing a new Top Gun. Oh my god, see? I look over at chat to see nothing and I get shot. Fuck. Well, there goes my perfect game. And that's the thing about Top Gun, is those missiles do not have to get that close to blast you. And it's very frustrating to deal with. And this is it. You just kind of climb up in the air and, you know, go through sort of an existential crisis. Like, am I really climbing... Is this plane even real? I don't know what's going on. This is my this is my fucking childhood. I'm just sitting here listening to the whine of an aircraft engine, thinking this is a good game. And it's I don't think it is. I think it's not I think it's a game with a nostalgia factor, and that's really about it. There really isn't a whole lot else to it. Like I, I, I've already even at the even at a young age, I figured out how to cheat my way through this. Those are the only things you have to worry about. And it's weird because you notice I'm at thirty thousand feet or whatever my altitude is, but if I drop off, I'm already right back down again. So this game is the altimeter in my F-14 Tomcat is clearly malfunctioning and should be brought in for service at some point soon. And this is it. Like, this This literally... My childhood was figuring out how to cheat in Top Gun so I could get to the the, sub, the aircraft carrier to die very quickly. Oh, wait, I forgot. The The refueling process does actually have music, so they did kind of... They did kind of throw us a bone with that one. The thing that really sucks is if you miss the refueling thing, you just still go on. So you just, like... You, you get to experience the feeling of, uh impending death because you're going to run out of airplane fuel. 
Now this part works just like landing the plane. You just gotta get the speed right and everything, but it's a little bit more pain in the ass. Now I got this intense ass music, so gotta watch out. Uh. Come on. Yay, look in there. I've only beaten this game one time, and I'm pretty sure I used Game Genie codes when I was little to beat it. Um, but I'm pretty sure even after you beat the uh, the freaking um, uh, space shuttle, you still have to land the plane. And if I ran out of lives, and, or didn't have any lives left, and I died landing the plane, I would be... There, like, I wouldn't play video games anymore. Everything in this room would be just broken into a million pieces. So yeah, this is this is it. Just living free. Who knew that I could take out an entire like air force just by angling my plane? I could save the American taxpayers a lot of money if we did that. Oh, stay away from the cannonballs. I really want to understand their thought of like, let's not have sound or like music in the game, except for when refueling, because that way it'll be more like realistic. Like, someone really wanted to try to do a flight simulator and on an, on the NES, like that was really the strat. Like, really? I don't know. Very strange. Very strange uh, experience. So, all I'm doing is just killing time until I see this stupid aircraft carrier and then I fly at it real slow. Oh look, it redid my missiles. That's kind of cool. So, I don't know. They fed missiles through the gas tube? Whatever. So, like I'm obviously way overanalyzing this. But, where was I? Oh yeah. So, I fly this thing for a while. Now I'm aiming. Now I'm going into the dark blue, which is obviously the water. You still have to use your imagination this for for this NES game. And then the aircraft carrier shoots a billion missiles at me. I have to try to shoot those down, and I got to try to hit, um, hit that thing a whole bunch of times. I think it does have a life bar, if my memory serves me right. And maybe this part takes longer because my altitude's going down again. So maybe I have to like, um. That's my penalty for aiming up the whole time. Maybe that's what the strat is. Who knows? <sighs> this game should actually just be called Patience because this is what you have to have in order to play this game. These like little cotton ball clouds. So there's the thing. Fuck, man. Telling you. And then I gotta go sit through this again. <laughs> ah! Couldn't beat the aircraft carrier. That's f fucking. Whatever. I'm doing this one more time. Like, this part's cool. Why can't they have more of this? Like, give me Afterburner. Give me something that's, you know, entertaining. This is just, like, horrible. I mean, I guess in this level, it doesn't matter. I think the missiles did take more, do more damage, so I'm gonna try the third ones this time and see if I can really rip it up. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I made a rookie mistake. I think I'm still advertising that I'm playing uh, Jaws, not playing uh, the 1987 Konami classic Top Gun. And, you know, like, that's another thing. I mean, this is Konami. Like, this should be good. Like, they made fucking Jackal and Contra, but they made this. Like, where was the design team on this one?
my uh, cousin and video game recording partner, Brett, uh, he and I have a very passionate belief in Jackal as being the best Konami game made, and that it's actually better than Contra. So, you know, controversy, look at me, I'm saying things that are offensive. Um, I very firmly believe in that. I think that Jackal is the best, is maybe the best NES game ever made. I don't know what about it. I, 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 there's so many things about it I love. The soundtrack, the, uh, girl? the soundtrack, the gameplay, the, the challenge of it, the strafing, the strategy. Like, there's nothing bad about that game at all. I've never actually, I don't think I've ever actually been able to shoot those guys. Those pivot dudes. You can shoot these dudes. I mean, I guess it's cool. I guess I'll give Konami credit for the size of the sprites. That's kind of neat. But I mean, that's about it. Like, there's nothing really... There's nothing really about this game that makes me, like, want to jump for joy. When I was growing up, I had this game, Excite Bike, which is fun. Did they do Excite Bike? No, somebody else did Excite Bike. Um, Konami. I had this game, I had Excite Bike, I had, you know, the Mario Brothers duck hunt thing. And, uh, this game, like, I, and, and there's another game, I can't play it live on stream because my buddy, my buddy Brett, who's in the chat now, I just noticed it because there was some stupid pop-up that was blocking up your chat messages, so sorry, I'm failing. Um, uh, that I had called Urban Champion that I can't, I won't, I can't play it on live stream, like, it's too... Like, they'll ban me from Twitch if I play that game, because it's so bad. Um, and that was it, like... So it always made me... I always wondered, like, what... Why did I still come back to the Nintendo? Like, was it because it was the only real game in town at the time? Like, I mean, there was Atari and whatever. But, I mean... They, like, the games all, like, kind of... Like, most of them, like, suck. Like, I had Contra. I had Kung Fu. Like, those were good games. So many games we have, and like so many games that we play on Retro Wednesdays are so. they're just trash. And I don't understand, like, why. It makes me wonder, like, why they're still so popular. And also, why. like, we continue to play them. Like, I played this game for, like, days at a time. So I wonder if that's the reason why, if it's just because, like. If it's just because it was what we had. Like, if I grew up in the Atari age, like, the age of, like, those video games, like, would I have just been, would that have been it? Like, I can't play Atari for any period of time, and I love the Atari, like, it's... I gotta go down, oh shit, my altitude's too high. Shit! So dis like di disappointing or depressing when that happens. But you know what? I did do it once on camera, so I'm better than AVGN. Controversy. So I'm gonna try these. Cause I don't I don't want to waste my time fussing around with shooting at that stupid aircraft carrier for hours on end. One thing I'm learning as as I do this for my first time, like ever is I touch my face way too much. Does anyone else notice this? Like, I'm just constantly touching my stupid face. So I'm just gonna do this, and now I beat the level. What? Fuck! That's what I get for not paying attention. That's actually what I think makes this game hard, because it actually, like, kind of lulls you into, uh... lulls you to sleep with how friggin' boring it is. Look at me, I'm climbing into outer space. Woohoo! Maybe I'll do Kung Fu next. Now, I gotta play a game that's, like, got some, got some pepper on it. I'm gonna try some Batman next. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat it, but I'm gonna try real hard. Oh my god. 
it's actually like like almost that really like flying through flying on a commercial airplane because like this is what it is except for you can't see where you're going and you got to breathe hot recycled air from people's like mouths and asses and everything and then they wheel that cart down there and they give you a drink and you always pick ginger ale because there's no other choice unless you're one of those like crazy people that's like let me get get some booze on the plane but that's also ridiculous because I mean drinking on planes kind of extreme yeah I agree I'm a, I'm I, I agree Brett I'm a, I'm gonna do Batman I can't I can't sit here and play these crap ass games I'm gonna try to see if I can beat it I don't know it's hard but I, I have confidence I have done it a couple of times that Joker level though is phew. hope you guys like watching that over and over again So yeah, if you're just joining in, uh, my name is Donkey Sean Jr. This is sort of my classic game night stream. It's my first time doing this stream, and it's the first time I've done a stream like with the camera by myself and the whole setup. I, I've done some stream streaming like on and off, but I've never really done like anything in depth. And I was gonna give it a shot to see if I can do this. So far, it's been pretty fun. Um, I've learned a lot that I touch my face too much. I just did it again. Um, I've been playing some Nintendo games. I beat Jaws earlier. This is Top Gun. This may actually be the most, one of the most boring games I've ever played. Um, this is how you be get to the end of the second level, is you just push down on the controller, just like this, and just do this the entire, almost the entire way, and you can get through. I, I, I fucked up and died because I wasn't paying attention, but uh, that's basically it. Every once in a while, you gotta like go back down and press left and right, and now you gotta do this refuel thing. You get music at this point, so that's kind of exciting. Oh, I miss it. And, um, that's it. The only thing you have to learn is when you do the landing or the refueling thing, these, this speeds you up and this speed slows you down, speeds you down. Smart. And that's really it. Like, that's all you have to figure out and just follow the directions. I did it once, so I'm hoping I can do it again. Child's play, kids. Child's play. Um, I am planning on doing Batman next, so I can actually play a game that might people might find entertaining and not just like mind numbing. Um, I'm gonna probably wrap up if I if next time I die because that's my next that's my second game over. Um, where was I? But if anyone has any requests, um, please feel free to post them in the chat. And I will see if I have the game, and if I do have the game, I will be more than happy to play it. Um, we, I do all of my streaming and all of our Let's Play stuff is all original hardware and um, games I actually own. Oh, fuck me! Uh, I can't even get to the aircraft carrier that time. Well, this game sucks. I can't play anymore. Um, but yeah, we, I do everything on original hardware and original stuff, so if you uh, have a game that you're interested in, in taking a look at or want me to try to beat... Post it in chat. I will be more than happy to look it up and see if I have it. If I have it, I will play it and do my best to not be trash. And uh, if I don't have it, I will apologize and maybe you can buy it for me. So that was Top Gun. This game is just a straight up marketing ploy by Konami. Um, the game itself is really trash and the sequel is really trash if you haven't seen it before. Um, it's not a good game. If you pay more than two bucks for it to buy it, you're... You're probably overpaying. Um, there's only four missions, and that's like it. Like, there's really not much else to it. Um, so, just give me a minute. I'm going to switch over, and I will come back with some Batman for the NES, and we will have a game that might not be a complete snooze fest. So, I am Donkey Sean Jr., and I will be back in just a minute.